we provide grooming services, full service grooming, including a bath, haircut, um, nail ear, and um, gland care. We also provide bathing for dogs that don't need so much a full service groom. Um, we do dog walking services. We also do kenneling long term and just daycare. College to um, I either wanted to do art management or be an, an actual practicing artist, and um, this is a lot closer to that than um, teaching ever was. I feel like I make a little little sculptures all day long. They're just alive. With owning your own business, with being an entrepreneur, you, you have to enjoy what you're doing because it's not easy. It's not going to a nine to five. It's getting up, you know at 7 o'clock in the morning and being down here until 8 o'clock at night, being the last one in and cleaning everything up and, you know, being the first one to unlock the door, it's, it's all about that. You know, you can, you can really be okay with that kind of hours when it's, when it's your baby. Every day I, I grin for people that, are, that have been my friends since elementary school. You know, it's, it's just a lot, it's a lot nicer to grin for a community than than for just strangers in Asheville that I didn't really know very well. And it's, it's a lot easier to build a rapport with people that you've known. And, and I think if they know you and they know you do a good job with their dog, they trust to leave them with you and that the dog's happy and comfortable. Not only am I trying to make a great product, but I'm also trying to make the experience for the dog really great too. Good boy. Good boy. When I went to college, I, uh, I was trying to get a, a degree in art education. I think there's a, a big thing in life now where you're told that you're expected to further your education at a university when there's all manner of trade skills and crafts out there that you can apprentice one so with someone and then start your own career with, make your own life with it. Dog grooming, cabinet making, Photography, I mean, there's all manner of things out there if you just take a second and figure out what you want to do and then learn to do it. With this sort of thing, it's all a matter of, I don't know, finding a demographic. Well, you know, we groom dogs. That's a fairly easy one. Um, finding a location, you know, and then it's a matter of devoting yourself to taking the plunge, to taking that step, to, to just shut, quitting your other job and opening the doors on your new shop and hoping against hope that it's gonna grow into something that's gonna work for you. If you wanna get a license and start a business doing whatever you want around here, if, if there's a need for it, people will come if you're good at what you do. Um, word of mouth is great here. It's a small enough community that you, you don't just disappear into ambiguity. If you're good, people will come to you. They'll find you. They'll come from three counties over if you're the best one in three counties. It's really fulfilling to be able to put all my, my time and energy into something and watch it bloom and to provide jobs for several several people. That's, that's been very gratifying as well. We're cheerful and excited about what we do and we try to take good care of the dogs and, and people respond to that. I've just had a really positive experience with all the work I've put in. Everybody's responded really positively and been very happy. Yeah, I, I really enjoy the clients that come in and say, you know, she was she when we turned onto this road, she got excited, her tail was wagging, she was ready to be here, and and that's just that's what it's about.